For this exercise, you're going to rework your first form exercise in JavaScript where you created the lawn mowing um, exercise. I didn't do that one because I didn't want you to exactly copy me. I did a room painting estimate. So you'll find that in this, in this situation, the data is actually bound to the form information. So I don't have to hit anything, any buttons for this to work. So I can put in my first name and you notice that it's coming up here and I put in my last name and it comes up here and it starts with 000 here so I can do the room height and we'll say that it's got um, it will give you an NAN error if it's not a number so we're not going to do error checking. Room length we're going to say is 12 feet. Room width we're going to say is 10 feet so it will give you the square footage of the room and the cost based at 70 cents per square foot. So that's all happening because it's dynamically bound. So let's look at the code. Okay, so the form is pretty simple. The most important thing is that you do need to go out to a um, CDN, Content Developer Network, and grab Angular's code, or you can just go to the W3 Schools Angular JS page, which is where I got mine. So if you go to W3 Schools Learn Angular, it will show you where to go get the Angular code because you have to have that library for everything to work because this is a JavaScript library and so it's not embedded in the native HTML. And then something I'm doing this time, I'm not using a um, framework like Bootstrap or W3CSS, but I did use a normalize CSS so that it'll look the same on all browsers and you can read up on that on your own. So we begin and Angular controls start with ng. So we begin by creating an app, ng app, giving it a controller, my controller, and then we can initialize values. This is where I'm initializing the length, width, and height to zero, and the class is just for my CSS. So I have a form label first name, then I have an Angular model first name. This is assigning that variable name to that form content. I've got last name, height, length, and width. And you'll notice here I have my app with Angular module, my app, and this is creating a new app by adding these brackets instead of calling an existing one. I've got my app controller, my control function, and scope. I have this here, but I don't actually need it. It's just pretty much an empty um, app because what's happening is since I'm using Angular, I'm basically just binding this information to where I'm using it down here. And when I want to link to it, I use double brackets. And here I have first name plus space plus last name. That's how my first and last name are appearing here with a space between them. And then I have the square footage for the room. And I'm just doing length times height times 2 plus width times height times 2. So that gives me all four walls. I ignore windows and doors and that. And then I'm calculating at 70% per square foot. So I keep this formula and I multiply the whole thing, except I did an error because I multiplied it by 75, which I will go back and fix. But <clears throat> the code is correct in the way that I did it. You just put it inside the double brackets and you can use that data that you bound. So it's a different approach to doing the calculations on the page to do an estimate than we did with the initial JavaScript. So that's just getting you started working in Angular, which is a very powerful library for creating web applications.